there are a number of uh, terms that will come up when you're talking about image management. Uh, the main one is, is DICOM, or Digital Imaging and Communications in Medicine. So that's a standard that's, that really started with radiology probably 20, 30 years ago at this point, where they had the same problem we, we finally identified ourselves, which is that we've got a number of vendors producing devices that uh, produce images, and we want to be able to put those images together in a, in a common way so that we're having to buy you know, one uh, device and then a separate review system from one vendor and then go buy a, you know, a device and a, and a review system from another vendor, um, it just becomes cumbersome. So uh, radiology decided we need a standard to tie all that together and that was DICOM. Um, ophthalmology decided you know, probably in the late 90s that they needed to get on board with that and so over time the academy has sponsored um, a working group to build up DICOM standards for ophthalmology devices. So we now have standards for um, ophthalmology, op ophthalmic photography rather, ophthalmic tomography or OCT, visual fields, corneal mapping just came out recently. Uh, there's some reports for macular thickness, et cetera. So we, we think we have uh, sort of a relatively complete set now of standards that cover most of the devices in ophthalmology. So that, that's, that's DICOM. That, that's sort of the main thing you're going to be focused on when you're talking about image management. Other pieces you have to be aware of, um, HL7, Health Level 7, is a technology that lets clinical systems talk to each other. Primarily it's the way of communicating demographics uh, back and forth. So in our situation we've got an HL7 feed from our electronic medical record to our uh, image management system. So it keep that, that way that both systems know who's coming to clinic today, uh, whose name changed, whose birth date was incorrect, uh, those kind of housekeeping um, measures. Uh, so HL7 is kind of glue that ties ties your um, systems together. The other, other terminology that is le less important for imaging but still relevant to some degree is uh, SNOMAD, the Systematized Nomenclature of Medicine, which um, is a, a, you think of as a giant tree of terminology, uh, hierarchical terminology describing all things about medicine, diagnosis, treatment, uh, symptoms, signs, etc. Um, and the, uh, again, the American Academy of Ophthalmology spent some time incorporating to make sure we have all of the ophthalmic terminology built into that uh, SNOMED. So actually all of the Academy's educational material is linked to SNOMED terms, right? And you can do the same thing with your electronic medical record where diagnoses, findings, etc. can be linked to SNOMED and that's a way to help um, make your, however you're describing things, be mappable to uh, the way someone else is describing it. Um, so that, that's less important for imaging but still a, a relevant issue.